all of us deal with mental health. It's just where you are on that spectrum. And some people, it's just a blip and, and it's not a big deal. And to others, it's, you know, a life or death experience. But we're all on the spectrum somewhere. One of the most discriminated groups of individuals in this world are people with mental health and substance use disorders. We have the opportunity to change that. What we're trying to accomplish is difficult and challenging, but together we can make a difference for all those who badly need our help. The content of what we're talking about is elemental as we go forward. So I think one of the barriers that uh, we need to break is stigma. I think the subject that's come up about how we collectively define stigma is a, is a great opportunity for the whole field. The stigma issue is really important for us to be able to be a voice for many of those parents to be able to allow for a resource development and restructuring or at least growth in this area. We have a chance to come together put aside the individual little differences we may or may not have and say we it's time to normalize mental health and substance abuse just like any other illness. The fundamental reason why we're doing is because life is precious and we have a right to experience that. We believe that the only way you tackle these tough problems is to bring together the best minds from many different perspectives and fields to tackle them. We could all do so much by ourselves, but we could do so much more collectively than we can individually. And I think that's what everyone in the room is recognizing that, you know, it's time. Anything positive that we're doing here today, don't fool yourself. It's going to be copied and replicated, and it's going to be magnified around the world. It's our turn to write the story and change the face of mental health.